time we're playing Frostpunk. This is part five. In our previous episode we just got the automaton. Which will help us to build things and uh, gather resources. It's called the Light Yorkshireman. So we're building some more medical facilities here so we can uh, clean up the number of sick that we have. And the other problem that we have is our coal is about to run out. So we need to find some new coal supplies really fast. I think it's refueling. <laughs> Scouts have returned. So we'll fix up these medical posts. Add some engineers. See the automatons wandering around helping to build. We can send the scouts back out, go to the gloomy cave nearby. 21 hours. There he goes, he's helping to build. Okay, let's man the medical post. You can see the number of sick people is disappearing. Okay, the generator is shutting down because we just ran out of coal, which is pretty bad. Let's just finish off this medical post. Okay, so I've got a coal thumper up here. So I need to finish building so I can uh, generate some more coal. See it shutting down. The temperatures nearly reached the bottom. So that's less than ideal. Do less harm. So a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and, and worked in the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of invitations during radical treatment. Give him what he needs. Okay, so the coal thump is finished. Need to add some personnel to it. Put it on 24 hour uh, emergency shift as well. Okay, cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes, it's quite sensibly pointing out. It's an easy way to fall ill when it gets cold and ask you to address the problem. Let's heat some homes. Coal thump is producing 56 per hour. The heating is off, the generator is off, people are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night, of course. So, still trying to get some coal. Build a coal mine here. Automaton can't refuel, so the automaton stopped working because it's unable to recharge itself from the generator. That's true. 
The scouts have reached the gloomy cave. The cave is or was inhabited. There are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check and see if someone's alive up there. We sit by beasts. We can hear the terrified shrieks coming from the cave uphill. When we came closer, several polar bears turned toward us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside and those bears are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Alright, we should uh, risk attacking the bears. Save our people. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, people in the cave joined them and together drove them away. Alright, now we can take everybody home. Let's go home. Okay, so the coal thumper should be producing some coal for us. It's functioning 44.8 coal per hour. Just not seeing any coal being produced in the top top bar. Let's dismantle it. Maybe I can build it somewhere else. Coal thumper. Let's build it over the other side. Hmm. Build it there. See if that makes any difference. Scouts have returned, bringing their resources and their people. So let's send the scouts out a bit further this time. Let's go to the weather station. One day in 22 hours. Fewer amputations, so the doctor who was trying to improve radical treatment is here. He is recording a breakthrough. Certainly unorthodox method, and we learned colleagues would be appalled at the experiments I had to perform, but it works. I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. Excellent. So the coal thumper's nearly ready. Let's uh, man up this medical post. Okay, so let's research something new. Let's go for the steelworks. And the coal thumper's nearly ready. There we go. Just need to man this up as well. Okay, let's go 24 hours. Produce some more coal. The discontent's getting dangerously high. Let's build some more accommodation to house the six people that are remaining. Okay, there's a coal mine over there that we can try and extract from there as well. Yep, put it there next to the road. building a resource depot next to it as well. Cookhouse helpers, sir, a group of amputees are here to see you. They want to help in the cookhouse. We don't want to sit in there on our asses all day, content with just being kept alive. We can't do hard work anymore, but we can fashion simple prosthetics out of wood and help in the cookhouse and earn our keep. Give them what they need. People are furious. Final warning. Sir, people are extremely discontent with your rule. A revolt could break out against you at any moment. What do you want to do? We must hold on for a couple more days. 
yeah the discontents hit the hit the ceiling so <laughs> things could turn ugly real soon got to get that uh, generator back on See all the workers coming back with bags of something. It's not coal though, is it? Maybe they're the hunters returning? I'm not sure. Hmm. Can't work out why the coal's not being produced right now. Oh, who's this? man from Winterhome. We found an exhausted man at the edge of the city. He said he was he came from Winterhome, a settlement located not far from here, and he was the last survivor. Winterhome is dead. Everyone's dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. We're all doomed. We must escape. Those were his last words. So we're alone. Okay, that's not going to do much for morale, is it? News has shocked the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, people living normal lives in homes, heated by generators, but we're alone. Hope fails. Why did Winterhome fail? Are we all going to die here too? We should never have left Britain. We're all dead. How are we supposed to survive if they didn't? has fallen. They're all dead. How do we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us to be in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterhome spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Sta a panic starts to set in. I must give them purpose. Choose our path. People are shaken, wrecked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. We have to unite behind a vision of the future. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope, and else the city will descend into chaos that consumed Winterhome. So we can choose order and discipline, or we can have faith and spiritual strength. I might go with order and discipline. Purpose. So we've got neighborhood watch. We need to mobilize and stand together to help people in need and protect them from troublemakers. Okay. Might stave off defeat for a few moments. Seems like a good idea, but I worry it may look where it might lead. A volunteer force would be a better. I'm glad we have them. Can we get this generator happening again? We're in real trouble. Where's my coal, dudes? Thumper's operating, just don't know where the coal is. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you, you've convinced the majority but hope is low. A group of our people are so scared they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try and change your mind. You say order will save us? Nonsense. We're going to orderly decide who to eat first and then we'll start to starve. We don't want to try to reach London but we'll end up like winter home. The Londoners. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city in 15 days. I'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give them hope and manage the discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Okay. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. 15 days. Sounds rather serious. Everybody ups and leaves. So the automaton is totally idle now. So we need a coal mine to start extracting. The scouts have reached the weather station. 
So let's choose uh, a new thing to research. Let's go for the coal mining. We just desperately need that. Angry about the cold. Heating riot. Captain, our people are angry about the cold in their homes. So they have gathered to protest against your neglect of their suffering. Demanding that you act immediately. Londoners have infiltrated the crowd and they're using people's anger to turn, turn them against you. We better do something. Let's heat their homes. Okay, I'm going to dismantle these coal thumpers because they're not working. They're not generating for us. Oh, okay. There's some coal here. Coal mining is researched. Oh, I see. We can just gather this coal here. It gets dumped next to the coal thumper. I didn't know that. Okay, let's add some people to this coal pile. So the coal thumper just generates a coal pile right next to it by the looks of it. Let's put some more people on here. Let's get it up to 15. Alright. Now we have coal being generated again. Let's start the uh, generator. Level 1. Okay, back in business. So we've got another coal pile here. Let's start farming this one as well. So we should build a coal mine. We can mine that coal deposit at the top there. Let's stick it there. There we go. Steam cores. We just used our first steam core. Steam cores are necessary components in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city. Let's hope our scouts find them during their expeditions. I see. So I think we've got one more steam core left after that. According to the top bar. So here's another coal pile that we can uh, exploit <laughs> to power our generator. Okay, that's looking a bit healthier. And the automaton looks like it's refueling. Okay, so what about uh, steam hubs? Let's put the steam hubs back on again. Top right, flick the on switch. And the other one, if I can find the other one, it's here somewhere. People join the Londoners, so people who want to leave for London are successfully urged, urging their friends and neighbours to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they are little hope in their ultimate survival. There's the other steam hub right there. Let's turn that one on. So the heat is back on again. Okay. Let's set a new research goal. Let's go for faster gathering. That's what we need right now. Ten wood. Okay, so this uh, needs a road. Let's attach a road to it. And we need to give it some people to start mining the coal. So we need to find some workers. Borrow some from over there. And we'll man the coal mine.
Okay. So it looks like our coal is stabilizing at the top there. It's creeping up over so gradually. So we need to reduce our discontent down to 75%. Convince people to trust us again. So the expedition are at the weather station. There's nobody in the weather station. We found scientist notes. They predict the great cold is going to get much worse. It's more troubling as yet observations ending abruptly months ago. There's also not a can, can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they moved out for good. We can see the city of Winterhome from the roof of the weather station. Okay, they've got a steam core. Let's go on to Winterhome, 15 hours. Abandoned station. The recent report of the weather station has gotten people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the, the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are la lamenting openly. I knew we should have come. At least London has real houses, not tents. Hmm. Coal miners operating. Coal thumper is operating as well. So the uh, sick people are nearly down to zero. Oop, your time has come. Now who will make our city great again? Good riddance, we're better off without him. We can start rebuilding at last. He should be happy we didn't wring his neck. <laughs> you are deposed. A band of grim men, men drag you under the generator. The crowd erupts with angry shouts. Hang, hang the bastard. Throw him into the generator. You are summarily judged and spared the death sentence. In recognition of your efforts, you are banished from the city instead. I did my best. So that's it guys, you can see I lasted for about uh, 16 days before it ended, so that was better than my last attempt. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, check it out if you like the game, uh, click like if you enjoyed the series and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these games, and uh, yeah we'll see you next time, thanks for watching.